Okay, now moving on. Uh, we're still practicing the X method. We just want to get bigger numbers. What I do want to have bigger numbers now. Um, most of you finding this too easy and you're like, can we move on? No, you still have to do 794. So 794, again, no expression, no equation, just numbers. I got 66 and I have 17. So I want to find out what are the factors or multiples of 66. What are the two numbers I can multiply that give me 66? And the sum that gives me 17. We're going to go through this kind of a little quicker. 1 times 66. 2 goes in here because it's an even number. 33. 3 goes in there because the sum is 12. 12 is divisible by 3. So 66 is divisible by 3. And that's 22. And 4 does not go in there. 5 doesn't go in there. 6 does go in there. And that is 11. Okay. I have all the factors because I know 7, 8, 9, 10 doesn't go in. 11 does, but I have 11, so I'm done. <clears throat> Just to make sure that all the negatives can also be applied here. If this was negative, negative, then the product would be positive. But the sum would not be positive. So I need all these to be positive for me for this to work out. So I am done at this point. All I got to make sure is which one of these is the right combination that will give me the sum that's 17. So if I add these two, it doesn't work. If I add these two, it doesn't work. If I add these two, oh, not quite. But 6 plus 11 does give me 17. So I found my two products that will give me 66, but also the sum that will give me 17. Okay, that's it. And now on to your... All right, guys, moving on to example number two from assignment 94. Let's look at this one right here. Notice our top number here is negative 100, and our bottom number is negative 21. So again, create your T-chart here. Negative 100 goes right here, and negative 21 goes right here. Now remember, we're looking for two numbers. Then when multiplied, they're going to give us negative 100. And when we add them or combine them, they're going to give us that negative 21. So just... Looking back at what we talked about earlier, what gives us positive and what gives us negative when we multiply. I'm going to rewrite this here, just so you guys can see it. Positive times positive equals a positive. Negative times a negative equals a positive. Positive times a negative equals a negative. And negative times a positive equals a negative. So notice, when we multiply these here, we're going to, we're going to end up with a positive answer. In this case, though, we want a negative answer. So the only ones that are going to work out for us are these right here. Okay, these are not going to be the ones that we care about. So we're going to need a positive number and a negative number when we write it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of that. A negative uh, 100, what gives a negative 100? Well, it could be negative 1 times 100. Notice 1 is negative, 1 is positive, just the way we talked here, right? The opposite of that would be 1 times negative 100. Okay, moving on uh, to number 2, 2 times negative 50 gives me that negative 100 or the opposite of that would be your negative 2 times 50 how about 3 does 3 go into 100 no how about 4 4 does go into 100 4 times negative 25 the opposite of that would be negative 4 times 25 how about 5 5 does go into 100 5 times 20 negative 20 and the opposite of that would be negative 5 times 20. How about 6? Six? 6 is not going to 100. 7? No. 8? No. 9? No. 10? Yes. 10 times negative 10 would be it. And this is it. This is our list for what gives us negative 100. Now from here, what gives us that negative 21? So if I start here at the top, it's negative 1 plus 100, and that gives us 99. Far from being negative 21, right? Uh, how about this one? 1 minus 100. Well, that gives us negative 99. That doesn't work out for us. Remember, the number is going to start to get uh, smaller here as we go down. 2 times uh, negative 50 does give us a negative 100, but does it give us the negative 21? Well, let's see. 2 minus 50 equals negative 48. That doesn't work out. Negative 2 plus 50 is positive 48, that does not work out either. Let's keep going. 4 minus 25, that gives us negative 21. Is that what we're looking for? Yes, it is. Um, let's do this one really quick, just so you guys can see what we get from here. 
uh, negative 4 plus 25 is positive 21. 5 minus 20 is negative 15. Negative 5 plus 20 is positive 15. And negative 10, I mean positive 10 minus 10 gives us 0. So again, the combination that worked out is right here. Here's our negative 21. That's the one that worked out. And it came from this combination here, which is positive 4 and negative 25. Those are our two factors. And that's what we're going to write here. 4 and negative 25. And again, to recap, 4 times negative 25 gives us that negative 100 when we multiply. And 4 added to negative 25 gives us that negative 21. And this is it.